Let's talk a little about my five top stock picks for 2024. This is going to be a wild year for stocks as it is a presidential election year and the housing market is in a bubble that half of the country is currently waiting to pop and the other half thinks it's impossible to pop due to so many factors at play currently. My point is this, this is going to be a super speculative year for investing and I suspect we'll see some disgusting volatility in the stock market over this year. That's why we are almost exclusively only day trading, options trading, and shorting right now inside of our community. Obviously, we teach you all of that and text you all of our trades in real time if you sign up with the link in the top pinned comment. But for those of you that don't want to day trade and are just looking for better long-term investments, that's exactly what I have for you today. Five possible swing trades or long-term investments for 2024. And the first one should come as no surprise to anyone who's followed me longer than just five minutes. NWBO, Northwest Biotherapeutics, is a biotech company who recently released positive top-line data on their stage three trial, testing their outstanding efficacy of DCVAX-L. DCVAX is a new technology that NWBO created that oversimplified, supercharges your immune system, and enables your immune system to attack the cancer with astonishing results. Their 15-year-old trial has already been peer-reviewed by over 100 of the world's leading doctors and neurosurgeons, and the results are in. Every single patient lived longer, healthier, happier lives, and before DCVAX, anyone diagnosed with brain cancer is typically told that they have less than one year left to live. But with DCVAX, we now have multiple people at the 10-year survival mark. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that everyone made it past one year in this trial. DCVAX works in combination with other leading cancer treatments currently being used today, and it does not require the use of chemotherapy. It costs significantly less than chemo, and it comes with none of the adverse side effects. They literally reported no adverse side effects in the entire 15-year trial because it's literally just a vaccine made from your own DNA that supercharges your immune system and trains it to fight the cancer or tumor. And because more than 90% of all cancers are tumors, this DCVAX technology is actually applicable to over 90% of all cancers a new cancer treatment that is applicable to most types of cancer. Can you say cha-ching? That's your investment highlight right there. But obviously, I'm not a financial advisor or a doctor. I'm just some degen sitting in my robe in the middle of the day talking to a camera. So be sure to do your own research on NWBO and be sure to join me on Monday when I host a town talk on NWBO. I'm bringing on this channel, an actual doctor, and a patient that received this DCVAX treatment and a couple of the most knowledgeable long-term investors in NWBO right now. Monday, we're all going to host an hour-long discussion examining NWBO and DCVAX at great length. So make sure you're subscribed with your bell notifications turned on so that you don't miss this truly unique and special episode coming this Monday. And the only other stocks that I'm comfortable holding through this year while also still expecting significant gains in the coming months are all in the pot sector. Mary Jane is already legal to inhale recreationally in 24 of our 50 states, and it's medically available in 38 of the 50 states. So it's already allowed in some fashion or another in over half of the country in just a few years of big reform pushes. It stands to reason that this sector is going to blow the hell up as more and more states continue to legalize its medical and recreational use, and we move closer and closer to the federal government first, reclassifying it, and then making it, um, and then also decriminalizing it and making it recreationally available throughout the U.S. These catalysts can launch this sector to the stratosphere as banks begin lending to these companies, and these companies continue to massively expand and grow. This is still the very early stages for this sector, and I believe all of this combined with our exploding national debt just increases the likelihood that the government pushes the legalization efforts even faster as they desperately need more tax dollars to combat their spending problems, especially this being an election year and they need more votes. All that said, I'll give you my top five pot stocks right after I shamelessly convince you to join the best Discord on the planet. We now have over six one-on-one -on -one coaches that will hold your hand for 90 days. 
and we're the only Discord out there texting you all of the hottest plays in the market every day. I can say with 100% confidence in my heart that there is no better place on earth to learn how to trade stocks and options and not one other Discord out there that truly cares about you and gives you all direct access to all of the founders, me, Andrew, and Brendan, any time of the week. You can learn more and sign up with the link in my top pinned comment, but my top five MJ stocks in 2024 are TLRY, that's Tilray, CRLBF, which is Cresco Labs, TCNNF, which is True Leave, CGC, which is Canopy Growth, and GTBIF, which is Green Thumb Industries. And fuck it, why not? I'll go ahead and give you a sixth high tide, which is H I T I. That's seven stocks you can go look up and start your own research on right now. And some of these stocks are OTC, which means you need a brokerage that allows you to trade OTC stocks like Charles Schwab or Fidelity. Now smash that like button and remember to tune in on Monday for a truly epic NWBO deep dive research discussion.